today, friends. Welcome to the most anticipated track racing game of the year, Gran Turismo 7. Let's get started. Now, this is the very beginning of the game. The very first experience I have with the game. I've not touched it. First, we need to select our preferred steering. Well, I mean, we're using, we're using a wheel, but uh, man, this game looks so good. Choose a dri type of driver assistance. This is pretty cool. I don't think Grand Turismo ever had anything like this. It was always a little bit more like menu based, but we're getting from the get-go a kind of nice screen asking you. So if you want no type of auto drive, uh, it's expert. So apparently I'm an expert. I'll I feel good about myself. And then we've got this menu to really dive into the details. Pretty, pretty cool. So you may have seen this a little bit before. This is that exact same demo. I'm also worried about copyright. So we're just gonna breeze through this little introduction here. Finished. I did it. <laughs> did I do? I'll take that. I'll take that. That's a silver, right? You can now play Gran Turismo 7. Now, that was the introduction to the game. One of the new music rally events. That's pretty cool. Do you want to begin Gran Turismo 7? Yes, I do. Interesting. So it's got literally two options on the menu. We've got world map and music rally. Let's jump into this. All right, I've got to enter a nickname. Okay, let's do it. Pants? Can I can I do that? Is that allowed? It is. Race difficult. This is like the most difficulty settings Grand Turismo has like ever had. <laughs> We're gonna go for the normal difficulty and we'll play with it as we go. 25th anniversary. Man. I've been waiting so long for this game. I'm so ready. You know, Grand Turismo starts with a nice mellow tune. We're getting our view of the intro. We a bit more color now. It's uh, building up. <laughs> nice eye setters. Here we go. High quality now. Back into 4K. <laughs> and next. Oh, we've jumped to the game. That kind of reminded me of the PS3 intro there. What? Oh, this is in game. This looks so good. So, so good. Look at the reflections, man. What the hell? As much as I like a Gran Turismo intro, I ain't here to see this. Let's go. Uh, fun fact for you guys, you can't actually skip this. <laughs> I, I tried to. I, I know, I know. It's it, it's good, but like, let's go. Here we are. The new home screen. This is so much like better than the previous menu on the previous game. Hi, so you must be pants. Hey, can't insult me already. <laughs> Ready for your new adventure, I see. Nice to meet. It's very. This is such a Japanese game. It's unapologetically Japanese, and I'm I'm in love with that. Have you ever traveled the world of Gran Turismo before? Yes, I have. Pants, let's go up there and explore the rich world of Gran Turismo. First of all, you're needing a car. First car. That's a used car dealership at reasonable prices. Come on, used cars. I am so happy. And just so you know, in case you're wondering if you have a wheel setup, I bought wheels up specifically for Gran Turismo. You actually can jump between the controller and the wheel without issue. Like it doesn't have to do a weird, like, oh, you have to press a button and then it switches. Just both work. Super sick. Hi, you must be on your first trip out. My name is Andy. Hello, Andy. Look at this lineup of cars. What do we got, Andy? No problem. When choosing your first car, pay attention in the PP. So PP is the performance points. It's the same as the previous game. Honda Fit, Toyota Aqua, and the Mazda Demio. Any of those will serve you well. So I guess the top. So this is what's in the used car dealership so far. Just, just the, oh, look at that. Can we buy the Mercer Lago? <laughs> just to point out, as you move over the menus, the haptic feedback is kind of like a phone, but better. It feels really good. Now, I do want a Mercer Lago, so let's add that to the wish list because that's a one day. <gasps> It's very accurate to the real... Actually, I say that. that would, that's actually not accurate to the real price. That's quite cheap, actually. I'm going to just start adding cars to my wish list. And you can already see what type of cars I'm into. All right, we're going to go for the Demio. Let's purchase it. That's most of our money gone. I'm so happy we start in a proper low-end car. You already know that's something that I love, love, love in a game. In a game that's supposed to last more than, like, what? A few years? There should be some grindiness to it. All right, when you purchase, uh, receive a car, you gain collector points. This game definitely makes me want to collect cars as well. Like, no normally before, I never really, f like, want to. Am I getting old? Maybe. I see you picked your first car. Congratulations. Oh, once you leave here, I recommend going to the garage and checking out your new car. Well, let's back out, and it's going to take us to the garage. I love this little introduction. It's really, really handy, especially for, like, newer players. This is the garage. Storage place for your collection. This is your home base where you can switch cars and change out settings. I'm going to move out the way so you can see a full look at the screen. You can also turn in tickets and you get in races and receive bonus items as well. So this has got the change car screen pretty much the same as the previous game. We've got the car settings. This is where you can change your car settings. You'll be able to see performance window on the left. 
There you go. So it tells you a little bit of the power, everything that there is. So it's kind of like before the tuning menu, you got the four wheel steer system, I'm guessing. Change steering angle. Oh, that's where you start installing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is cool. So the turbochargers actually have low, medium or high RPM. That's pretty cool. Superchargers, intercoolers. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to jump into customization. Escapes movies. Oh, I see. So it basically, it's, it's showing like pictures and the car will drive around. We've seen this before in the last game. So there you go. It's a little car and a picture. Welcome to your tuning parts. So special parts you receive as gifts are kept here. Man, this is... I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Car collection. This is basically... Gonna, Oh, this is a look at iCar collection. As you can clearly see, we have none. So as far as, I'm, yeah, 424 cars are in the game. There's the car. These are probably the Gran Turismo cars here. But we've got some, look at that. I see I see that looks like a police car right underneath me. Something I really want to point out on this screen, which makes me so happy. On the left, you actually see here, it's got normal, normal, normal for the oil engine. So basically, we're going to have to fix our cars, right? We could do this in the previous Grand Turismo games where you change your oil and such, but it's got the mileage. I, I love that. Back to the home space. Oh, we're going to the cafe. So the cafe is definitely a new thing to Gran Turismo. I'm super interested to see what this has got to offer. We've already seen a little bit on the trailers and stuff, of course, but cafe surrounded by woods. It's literally, it's beautiful. It's caffeine and machine. It's a special place where people who love their ca- Hey, I was reading that. So we've got my little, uh, is this, is this a Mazda 2 is what it is? It seems like a Mazda 2. My name is Luca. Hello, Luca. So food and drinks. Can I have a cup of coffee, Luca? Once you complete one menu book, I'll have another menu book ready for you. Let's start by choosing your first menu book. So this, this is where I'm interested where the progression is going to go because I like like to play through like a grindy playthrough. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if this is just going to give us cars. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see. So these are the other two cars we could get. We've got this one. Let's press start. It's all about collecting Japanese compact cars. The goal is simply to acquire three cars listed on the menus. You might have one or two of them already, but your work's not done until you've got all three. You can receive cars as rewards for your performances in certain world race events. Orange compass icon. So, okay, so maybe it's just like a collection menu of such, rather than actual... We should have come back. Okay, I will. Menu book number one, Japanese compact cars. Okay, I guess it's just kind of setting objectives. That's, that's good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Have a look at world circuits here then. Showcase is now open. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to go discover replays. For ah, so we'll go in here first. So this is pretty much your discovery following. It's kind of the content section that was in the previous game. If you didn't play the previous game, basically this area is where you've got all of your stuff and all the community stuff. We're talking like liveries, photos, things like that. It's a good place to see some creativity. Right. Now we're going to jump in to the world series world circuit should i say we've got the americas europe and asia oceana championships let's start off with the europe and we go with italy are we jumping straight in uh, so this event we do get a gift car let's see how that goes i hope it's not too uh it's not too givey okay we've had we've had givey but we get 75 grand maximum reward for completing this championship right here so time trial drift trial custom race Meeting place. Let's meet up in a favorite track. Meeting place is a mode that allows you to easily join online meets with other players from around the world. No regulations. Show off your livery, various cars. Mind you. Huh. Interesting. So currently, uh, no one's online because I am playing this early. So let's jump into the Sunday Cup. That's probably the makes the most sense. So we've got rivals there on the bottom. Pretty cool. All the cars we kind of picked. And we have to place third or higher to progress. Let's see if I can do this with my F1 wheel. And as I said, I've kind of still been setting up my wheel. So I might be playing with a degree of rotation throughout this series quite significantly. But let's jump into the start of this race. Here we go. We get the fit hybrid if we win this. Let's get it. Our first event in Gran Turismo 7. Let's get it. So I've got, I've, ah, man, <laughs> what the heck in the way? I'm going, I'm going for it. I'm gunning it, I'm gunning it. Beautifully, we start with nice low end cars. Something I struggle with personally is switching from car to car. And I literally, we just experienced that Porsche. And now <laughs> we're now in this thing, which genuinely is actually a lot of fun. Let's jump in and switch the camera. So something that I that I'm debating on is how I set the camera. Man, I don't even need to. Fourth gear is useless. <laughs> I definitely want to play around with it and switch. Man, 
they've definitely gone and added like some camera shaking here. This is that's something that Grand Turismo didn't really have before. I'm hoping there's some menu customization so we can really have a play with the settings. Really just make it our own. We're gonna see how that all plays out. We've been a third person hard on the brakes. Let's go, let's go. I'm taking it. Aggressive. Not too shabby for our first run. Hatchbacks seeming pretty, uh, pretty easy to tame, easy to master. I mean, it, it, it is, <laughs> it's a master too. I'm hoping it's a Mazda 2. I don't know. I said the center speed definitely feels better on the front and hood views. But across the line, our first race done. I'm so ready for this game. I'm so ready to immerse myself in this game. Like a proper, proper progression system in a Gran Turismo game. I'm so happy. 7,500 for that first race there. Uh, we've got daily workouts and credits. Again, all this screen. It's a little bit new. Oh, I like that. The animation is just, just really clean. And we got the Honda Fit. Just like that. So, again, I feel like that was a little fast considering that... Oh my god, the car's tinking. Do you hear that? I love this game. Uh, we've just started and I'm already like... I love the little details like that. That's so, so cool. Is that the replay? That is the replay. That's pretty cool. I'm glad it puts you straight into it. There we go. It says we've now acquired that car. So if we back out, it's got something flash in there. Is that, is that this event? I guess it's this one. So if we go over to Asia. Ah, there we go. This is how we collect the other car. Let's get it. The loading times are actually kind of, kind of good. I should imagine I'm on the PS5 version of the game. So uh, <laughs> it's quick. Like I'm, I'm pausing between. So I'm like readying myself. So I've got enough time to like, you know, discuss points think about what we're doing next and all of a sudden it's loaded it's like it's pretty uh sorry but it's a pretty it's an okay we got the swift we got the honda s oh, i don't care buddy i don't care we're going aggressive we're gonna ring this thing out now difficulty so far seems like i'm going to be bumping it up but at the same time let's go let's go let's go let's go yeah boy honda beat i beat your honda let's go i know for a fact as soon as i get to some more difficult to tame vehicles <laughs> There's gonna be some changes. There's gonna be some changes to this positioning. So I go to Aqua. I saw him dab the brakes there. Why are you dabbing the brakes? You don't need to do that. Fourth gear is that? Is that? Is that wise? Come on. Excuse me. Let's go. <laughs> Boy. Definitely need to play with that third-person camera. Man, look at the beautiful. It's beautiful, man. Oh, clean race bonus. Look at me. Look at me. So the thing about this, I was playing Grid Legends recently, and as, although it has some really cool varied vehicles, like something you wouldn't even get in this, the fact that it jumps between cars so fast is kind of jarring. This is going to be me stepping up slowly, and I can do it at kind of my own pace. I'm so ready for that. Like, I'm so glad we're starting in a hatchback. But I feel like now we've done the races with the hatchback. Let's see if the game keeps us in it, because I kind of want to stay in it. I want to upgrade it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back to the cafe. Cool, we shall do that. And there's my car collection. That's pretty cool. Now, these are cheap cars, so we'll hold reserves. <laughs> Congratulations for getting all three cars. Completes your collection. And boy, I have some stories to tell you about these cars. Let's talk later. Sweet. Listen carefully. It'll deepen your knowledge and lead to new discoveries. Roulette ticket. What's a roulette ticket? Are we forcing? Oh, the license center. <laughs> That's... That's going to be painful, my friends. That's going to be painful. The term compact is pretty self-explanatory. Small wheelbases. Oh, so it just kind of teaches you about the cars. Hit the diesel engine, the fourth gen generation Demi. I didn't even know it had a diesel option. Third generation Honda Fit. Most full fuel efficient car in Japan. The Aqua is a compact fuel efficiency. Great handling. And becoming all time classics. These? <laughs> Are you sure? Anyway, the next one... Oh, is to... Oh, you do a Goodwood Goodwood and Brands Hatch. That's pretty cool. Is do the license tests. That's pretty sweet. There we go. License test center is now open. I'm going to need that. <laughs> Garage. Oh, it's because we added the new cars. It's going to show us on the menu. We've got gifts, car collection, of course. We can show it by uh, different categories if we want to. But there you go. There's our three little boys on the big old list. We collected three cars. Uh, on the gifts, receive this gift. Uh, what, let's see. What is this? It's a, it's doing a Forza. I kind of want, I can, 
Give me the small money. The small money. I'll take the small money. Two grand. Okay, fair enough. That's a good amount. I'm ac that's decent. I'm okay with that. Top up with the... All right, that's still there. <laughs> that's cool. As long as it doesn't give me anything too crazy, from the go is the thing. Like, I don't want to be thrown everything. So we'll see how that plays on as we keep going. So we're going to jump to the license center. There's a place where you acquire driving techniques. Licenses which are proof of your com com uh, competence or completed. <laughs> I didn't read it. Uh, but your test, blah, blah, blah. Train here to become a faster driver. Yo, what's up, Daniel? Hey! Daniel! What? I know you for some reason. <laughs> so this is where we get our licenses. Uh, this is to get the National B license. And I'm assuming we probably need to do that to actually progress. We go to the menu book, learn more. I need to collect any cars for the menu. Said he'd like to check out the license center. Earning licenses. Yeah. If you're a more confident driver, you can test yourself by getting gold in all the challenges. Let's start off by getting a bronze in the first challenge for the National B license. Once your bronze is in your pocket, come back here and report to me. Okay. Let's go, Demio. I love you, baby. You're beautiful. So the idea on this one is to go in a straight line and break. It's like the most basic thing ever, but you got to know this to progress -y. This thing definitely needs a clutch. I can tell it's it's not shifting properly, but that's okay. So we got to stop in the box, right? And stop. 20 seconds. Hey, come on. That was so, look at the, ah, I'm going again. I'm going again. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're going to get perfect this time. Come on. Come on, Demi. Yo, we're already ahead of where we were before. Let's go. Stuff your ghost. I'm getting it. I see the cones. We got the hundred and cones. Stop. I'm in. <laughs> Try a bit of left foot break. Let's go to 50. 50. Stop, 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 please. Ah! I'm going to do it a lot. I'm going to be doing gold on all of them. We're going to get there, okay? It don't matter. I want to progress. Give me that money. I got 1,500. Hey, Luca. Yes, I did. So, as you already met Daniel? Yes, I have. These guys all compete in the Grand Turismo Championship. I knew, I knew, I know, Dan. What a man. I th I th I'm sure we met, mate. I'm sure we met. That's so amazing. You're like, you're the, I love that. All right, a world circuit track has been made available. Goodwood and Brands Hatch. And we've got menu number three. Oh, we've got a Volkswagen Mini Cooper and the Fiat 500. That is, I, I love that. I like, I'm really happy with that, actually. That's a cool little collection. So do we have to keep kind of progressing through this career, as they say, or... Do we now have the ability to just jump in and give other things a go? That's what I'm curious about. So we've got three out of 15 for Europe. We've got Brands Hatch. So we jump in. So we've got these, the GT Cup. But like, oh, there's the mini one. Oh, 35 grand for doing that one. Can we just jump straight into these? Can we? We don't have a car for it. So it's uh, flashing all this regulation stuff. Uh, can we? Can we? No, <laughs> you do need a car, so you have to keep the grind on. I'm not even mad about that. All right, let's get this championship done. We've got three to do. Brands Hatch is going to give us the VW. We're ready. Third or higher is going to get us that boy, the Beetle. Let's get it. Bit of the hood view. There's an Abarth pulling ahead. And it looks like he's actually, it looks like he's backwards. I don't know if you agree. <laughs> it genuinely looks like he was driving backwards there for a second. But we're going to plow on through these baboons. Samba bus. Inneth. The binneth. Bit too much speed. We're okay. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. There's another one. We've already locked in the sights and the positions of all these baboons that must be taken out. Looks like it's going to rain. Definitely England. Golf. Gone. Excuse me. Well, I'm sorry. And these two boys sat next to each other. Ready. For the bad man to do pull up on him. Look at that. Easy. I'm really starting to love this little demio. I don't even want to try the other cars. But I probably should. Because we've not, we've not touched those yet. I want to switch. <laughs> Clean race bonus. Hey, technically I didn't hit that golf then, I guess. There she is. I'm so happy we've got that. I cannot wait to put a million horsepower in my Beetle. Why does this sound like a Craig David song? C that's that's definitely based on Craig David's song, unless it's Craig David's song. Oh, it's gone now. Let's change cars. So we've got the Beetle. We've got wait the Fit. The Fit has 140 horsepower. Yes. Honestly, the noise this thing's making. 
I'm pretty into it. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty spicy if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know anything about these little hatches, but I'm glad we all get to learn about them together. We're enjoying them. Mini Cooper made this thing so much faster. At least it feels it. I'm just flying through and what the hell? <laughs> There's an a bath. A goodbye. Of course, the track just feels a bit faster as well. Mate. Oh, oh, oh. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> the final target is a bath. Come on, mate. The head's flopping everywhere. Let's go. Power down. Power down. Power down. Let's go. He's going for it. He's going for it. No! I hit the wall. <laughs> no matter. He's now in the rear view. Nice. Attempt number two at this. Third person view. Not the best view for it. <laughs> but we did it. This whole episode, I've been using the F1 wheel. But, like, it has the buttons and it has analog sticks. And it's just it's so useful. The plan is to actually switch to this wheel. Uh, but, you know, the F1 wheel. Give me that mini. Give me that mini. Needs a thousand horsepower right now. We're leveled up. We're now collector level three. Interesting. I've only just realized there's a collector level. <laughs> the final of these three is to get us the Fiat 500F. Let's jump in. Beans, beans. The more you eat. Beans, beans. I'm switching camera view. I'm like, I'm, I'm just, I, I can't decide. Yo, what? This ain't no Gran Turismo music. What the heck? Uh, I've never heard it. <laughs> That's so sick. I've never heard anything like this on Grand Turismo before. That's... That's a good... I've enjoyed this song. The final two. Just like this. Look at these little boys. <laughs> this is so quick. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mate, I, never. Never has this type of tune been in a GT game. Never. It feels like I'm playing my own music. I want this song on my playlist. I'm going <laughs> to do it. I feel like allowing me to do this event in this car is just way too ridiculous, man. Look, I, I, ah, I love how you actually shake around the interior now. That never happened before. On the brakes, on the brakes. Wait, there's no one near me, so I'm just taking it like super cautious. Because why the hell not? Power! Stunning. Give me the final piece of the puzzle. I'm a, I'm a hatch collector. That's what I am. The final piece of the puzzle. It looks weird without a plate. I'm going to be honest. You can tell. You, this has always been a thing to me. Some Europe, most European, every European car looks odd without a front plate. Except maybe like Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Because, you know, there's mostly sold to places that don't require the plates. And they're kind of designed with that. Don't remove your plate from your Audi. It looks a bit funny. It's designed to have one there. Can you jump to it? With, oh, if I press this. Oh, that gives you kind of a, a, a little overview of it. That's useful. There's the boys. Very beautiful European classics. Congratulations, you got all three cars. Completes the collection. Got some stories to tell you about these cars. Another roulette ticket. More circuits unlocks. The tuning shop! This is what I've been waiting for. Can I just say, this really feels like I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Arche... I don't even know how to say it still. Arceus. And uh, it really feels like a car... Pokemon. This game really does feel like that. And I, I love that because it's, it's it's kind of introducing people to cars in a nicer way. That like the, the aim to introduce people that maybe not know anything about cars into cars. Uh, it's good. It's good. Genius engineers and designers who are responsible for icons such as the Mini in the UK, the Fiat 500 in Italy, and the Volkswagen Beetle in Germany. They left them up. That, mate, the amount of times I see these like res restoration builds, anything, just the amount of culture behind any of these cars anywhere in the world so sick it'd be super interesting if you guys are like never seen Gran Turismo before like maybe you're slightly into cars and you're slightly interested and this really does just kind of teach you a little bit more so next up what's this finish in the top three in Sukuba and Suzuka circuits cool all right but before we do that there is a place I want to go to the tuning <gasps> The noise! The noise makes me happy. Buy tuning parts, improve your car's performance. Mate, this fit hybrid is about to go boom. Welcome, you must be pants. I've heard, <laughs> I've been hearing so much about. Yes, that's me. Hello, Rupert. Please have a wide body for my car. <laughs> sports to extreme. Look at the tabs above. If you're on the first leg of your adventure, you'll be starting with the sports tab. High collector level, sophisticated tuning parts and more. Oh my God, yes. You have no idea how happy it makes me that we have to buy the tires that we want. That is sick. That is just so sick. Do you have to do it based on 
like, say I wear the tires out, do I have to buy new ones? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out over time. Weight reduction, uh, sports silencer, <laughs> brake pads, and then there's different tabs at the top, which we can't yet go to. Nah, come on. Let me in. All right, then. That's Gran Turismo day one. That's what we're playing right now. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to be playing this for a, a while, so... Make sure to tune in. I'm so glad it's finally a game again. It's introducing people to cars. I think this is the best track racer. I'm pretty certain on it. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you next time. Peace.